stuff that you know Strickland is not about, and Strickland is going to be very, very blunt and straightforward. So I'm going to be sharing that with you right here. And um, yeah, Strickland is, is, is Strickland. You're in Toronto. Welcome. Glad to hear. It's been great. Are you Canadian? Uh, of course I am. Are you part of the fucking opposition? Are uh, you? Uh, I don't know how to phrase that. You? I mean, you got like. Con- oh, yeah. Well, I did want to ask. You did know, you vote for Trudeau? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say. If, if, let me tell you something right now. If a man says he's not going to say, like, if you ask him, oh, did you vote for Biden? He's like, well, I'm not going to say. That's none of your business. He voted for fucking Biden. Sean, so, I, hey, Sean, I'm glad you had great experience. So this is our, this but, is what I'm talking about, you guys. The enemy, the enemy of Canada. Sure. Sure, All right. That's what it's got to be. It's got to be. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I'd... Oh, look, another... another. Man, this, I'm saying the, the swamp, you guys. The swamp. You become a champion. You become a star. And, and someone says... Let me ask model. you something. Have are you, you, are you, are you gay? Have are, you had the chance no, to are, interact are, with a are, more diverse are you, crowd? Let me know. Are, are you gay? Can I, hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking. I'm, this is a part of... Are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay. You'd be like, oh man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid. No problem with it. Oh man. Well, you, dude, you're a weak fucking man, dude. You're like, you're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like what you fucking, when he sees the bank accounts, like you're just fucking pathetic. And, and the fact that the fact that you have no fucking backbone and, and has he shut down your fucking country and seized bank accounts? You ask me some stupid shit like that? Go fuck yourself. Move the fuck on, man. I feel like that doesn't really coward. answer the question, but I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community. You said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that you'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me when uh, when they know what and they'll, we'll know what they stand for. Are you this still guy's like, hey, this Canadian's not that Canadian. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Here's the thing about Bud Light. His, his ears is distracting me, though. I ain't gonna lie. Bud Light. Ten years ago, to be trans was a, what? A mental fucking illness. And now, all of a sudden, people like you have fucking weaseled your way in the world. You are, you are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of fucking you. And the best thing is, is the world's not buying it. The world's not buying your fucking bullshit you're fucking peddling. The world is not saying, you know what? You're right. Fucking chicks have dicks. The world's not saying that. The world's saying, no, there are two genders. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, who they could fuck in school. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, their sexual preference. Like, dude, this guy is the fucking enemy. Uh, You want to look at the fucking enemy to our world? It's that motherfucker right there. Well, I can pause it right there. Um, he's not holding back, is he? <laughs> no, he's bro, this is raw. But his ears is kind of distracting me, though. I right, leave the man ears, man. He's a fighter. I'm gonna, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be real, like something fucked up for the right ear. But um, he has a California. Cali- you said California. He won too many times, man. <laughs> so, all right. So he's not with the whole new generation lg you know what i'm saying he's not with that type of shit nope he's, not at all i mean i agree with him i agree with him i'm rocking yeah. romy speak uh, up for us man i'm rocking yeah, with him yeah, totally I man agree I, him, like, I agree with him i ain't even gonna lie though i ain't even gonna lie i rock with omi he's I definitely rock. Great. but can can you get um sued for that for oh, saying certain shit? Yeah, he's like oh. yo are you gay yeah, like oh, hold on we're gonna get back to that for a second hold on <laughs> Trouble in paradise. His boss is about to speak. Dana, mm-hmm. I just want to go back. Um, you were talking about like you obviously give a long leash to your fighters about you know what they can say when they are up there with a UFC microphone and you are getting into territory of homophobia, transphobia. Like, is there I don't give anybody a leash? Well, I'm saying you a leash? I'm st- like free speech. I control when... what people say. Gonna tell people what to believe. Gonna tell people. I don't fucking tell any other human being what to say, what to think, and there's no leashes on any of them. What is your question? I was asking that question. I'll move on though. Yeah, uh, probably a good idea. You sh- that's ridiculous <laughs> to say. I give somebody a leash. Free speech, brother. People can say whatever they want, and they can believe whatever they want. If and I don't think there's any. It, it, we had, we, had, we had two gay women who fought in the co-main event. 
They sat on the stage with Sean Strickland. They could give a shit what Sean Strickland thinks or what he says or what his beliefs are, or what his opinions are. You know what I mean? I just want to go back. Um, you were talking about like, you obviously give a long leash to your fighters about, you know, what they can say when they are up there with a UFC microphone and you are getting into territory of homophobia, transphobia, like, is there... I don't give anybody a leash. Well, I'm saying you... A leash? I'm st like... Free speech. Gonna when, control what people say. Going to tell people what to believe. Going to tell people... I don't fucking tell any other human being what to say, what to think, and there's no leashes on any of them. What is your question? I was asking that question. I'll move on, though. Yeah, uh, probably a good idea. You sh that's ridiculous to say I give somebody a leash. Free speech, brother. People can say whatever they want, and they can believe whatever they want. If And I don't think there's any... We had, we had, we had two gay women who fought in the co-main event. They sat on the stage with Sean Strickland. They could give a shit what Sean Strickland thinks or what he says or what his beliefs are, or what his opinions are. You know what I mean? Go ahead. What do you got? I wanted to play the other clip, but I didn't find it right, real quick. But he had another clip where he was saying, basically, they ask, the questions they're asking Sean, you already know what he's going to say. You already know he, you know Sean, you know what he's, so you act, you're asking him, you're baiting him. So why are you complaining when you get the answers that you're asking for? And, and, and that's the reality. They bait people in, into answering these questions. So now you know what his boss has to say, Nick. That's his boss right there, Dana White. Yo, the boss, yo, the boss, I general, the boss, Nick, you know, straight, say, yo, you know what I'm He can say whatever the fuck you want to say. Freedom of speech, you have a problem with it. Take it up with yourself. You know what I mean? I rate the boss still. I rate that boss. Like, I think I could, I could, I could work with him. You know what I mean? I mean, that it's not a UFC, under guys. The bus. You know it's, it's UFC. And you are, it's, it's a, it's, come on, it's fighting. So you can't be soft. Like, if, for reporters that's coming into UFC and asking questions, by the way, Dana White takes a lot of, a lot of bashing because Donald Trump, he endorses Donald Trump. Donald is always at his fights. So, you know, liberal you know, media. And you know Trump is already for that. Like, he he, he, he agrees to that type of um, thing, too. Like, he's not with that new modern day type of thing. You know what I mean? Exactly. So it, 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 it definitely makes sense, bro. But I, I agree with him, bro. Like, free speech, zine, and they're trying to mute people that is going against their agenda. You know what I mean? So I, I definitely agree with what um dude had to say, man. Like, yeah, we, we, we're we're trying to have our kids learning about yo. Know, you gotta choose your gender. Like hell, fucking no, bro. You either a boy or a fucking girl. But I don't want to offend anybody. So you know what I mean? See, they trying to mute me right now. See that? They yeah. trying to mute me right I, now. I, I, and that's the thing, right? You know, <laughs> I I do not want my kids being taught gender in school. I don't want people to tell them it's more than two genders i don't want none of that i don't want them to be taught i don't send them to school to learn about sex you know what i'm saying basic basic biology that's it you know male female reproductive organs that's what that that that's what i know that's what i i learned in school nothing was wrong with it i didn't think it was broken i'm not broken so why why are we changing shit around yeah why 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 are why are they going to change things like what change it's the same way a baby is born nothing change in that cycle so why are you changing things in the school about there's more than two genders like if if, if babies were born in a different type of way not from like woman then we could say okay this, there's something different but there's nothing different it's the nothing. same cycle <laughs> so it's, what are they changing it's insane but here's the thing right um <laughs> It's hard for us, especially on a YouTube platform. You can't really truly express yourself because if you're being honest, we're literally, we're, we're, we're neutered because do I really want, can I express my true feelings? No, I, I'll get censored. If, I, if I'm like, bro, I'm not with your bullshit. They're going, you know what I'm saying? You can't really say nothing. Just going to be like, yo, everybody can live their life, enjoy their life or they see fit. Can, can I have my way? You want to have your way. But why are you imposing your way onto me and my family? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking like, 
this this country needs to be part in two, you know what I'm saying? Like literally, like I could see, I could see this the, the, the each state being cut in two. And literally, we have the people that that are for that on one side, and we on the other side. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm that's gonna happen. Because honestly, because if, if it's such a problem, I'm thinking, you see, I'm not for all the diversity and inclusivity and all of that, because after a while it doesn't really make sense. Because when you look at the reality, right? Um, I used to I used to work um for this company, right? And it was about that was about 2005, 2006. That's when they started the diversity in 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 and in, in, in inclusion, right? And it was insane. It was the most insane thing ever. Literally, when I say insane, I mean literally insane. So only to find out that they gotta hire crazy people. You gotta hire crazy people. Like based on yeah. the diversity and, and, and inclusion, even if the people them kind of cuckoo, you know, the weirdo ones. And, so basically, yeah. out of every batch of people that apply for the job, you gotta hire one of them, including the crazies. So I remember this crazy girl on the job, mad woman, freaking out, carrying on all the time. So I'm like, asking management, why don't they fire her? If she's crazy. They're like, they're like, yeah, we, we can't fire her. I'm like, uh, I know they're like, no, you can't because you gotta, have, you gotta have people like, you gotta include everybody. So she has. So you're saying she has immunity? Yes, she does. Madness. She freaks out and leave work and come back tomorrow, and they don't fire her. Let me freak out and leave work Yo, and come back and see if I don't get fired. See if I got a job tomorrow. But I'm not crazy. That's the difference. So they, they don't if they don't take their medication stuff like that. There's certain things that's allowed, and you're like, wow. Blow and up. you get to find out that this country is not running on 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 sanity. I hope y'all know that, right? You do mm -hmm. realize that. A person that have visions uh, or thoughts of chopping you up into little pieces, right? You know they don't commit those people to the asylum, right? Y'all uh, know that, right? What they do with them? They are on the street until they actually actively try to do it to somebody or actually do it to somebody. They don't get locked up. So you're saying that they're, they're just people out there waiting to go off time bomb. Oh. No, you're not going to lock them up because they haven't done it yet. You know exactly, but the but mm. I'm saying to you, if they go to the, the 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 doctors and they're like, "I need to be locked up," the doctor's going to tell them, "Have you ever acted upon it?" And if they say no, then they tell them, "Then we can't lock you up." That's why it's a free country, bro. But it got that right. It's way mm. too free, if you ask me. It's free, but we can't say what we really feel about certain situations. So is it even free? Mm. It's, it's free, free for it's, it's selectively free <laughs> selectively because mm. that's the thing crazy people can do whatever the hell they want but sane people cannot and we really need to take a look into that because like a man know. that's running around telling you that he's a woman technically you have him like a crazy nigga that's a crazy person that's what I'm thinking mm -hmm. but that person is telling you no so He's you perfectly you go, fine. You, you mess around and you're like, sir, oh, you 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 might get arrested for misgendering somebody. For your own free speech. That's crazy, bro. Like they literally changing the, the rules, bro, in front of Everything our eyes. Changed. And we're not even seeing it. Like we can't have free speech no more without getting reprimanded for saying something. You know, what I mean, they open the laws, they 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 change the laws for um, you know the new world you know what i mean that's what i'm gonna call it they change the laws now where you can't look at somebody and say that yo this person is a bb boy because if you say that that is um what we call it no that is oh, hate speech hate speech. I hate speech and stuff like that bro like the world that we live in now they, they're trying to set it in place so that they have to teach the kids like yo you can choose well whatever gender you are so that the new generation coming up they won't be that um irate or you know um 
they will understand that yo you're gonna have these type of people in the world and you gotta accept it that's what they're doing they want the newer generation to come to accept you know these things bro and that's why you have other people now like like guy that you just played um saying that yo he doesn't want his kids to be knowing these things you know what i mean and that's going that's 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 the reason why you're gonna always have the resistance you know what i mean you're gonna always yeah. have the resistance but but they're trying to get rid of that they, they, they're just trying to get one world order bro that's it literally is. what it is it's just one Go world order, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah it's like it's like as you said like it's going to a new world so they want to in place these orders in the new world so for the next generation these things will be normal to our kids and yeah, normalized, it's, it's, yeah and when when you're on the internet and you see certain videos of these things going on what they're actually doing you see these these men's performing publicly and they're performing like a stripper they're stripping for kids in public and you see these videos and you ask where are they, where are the parents who is letting these things going on you see them on TikTok. they're you see them teaching kids how to do talk and uh, like why are they do what is oh, going man. on yeah we so didn't... you have to wonder what is happening but we don't there's no listen there's no answers we we can't have answers because we can't ask questions and if we ask questions we're bigots and if you really look at it right it's actually insane what has taken place you know for us we're we, we're older we're old heads the kids are mm -hmm. like it's normal to them my kids, yo. <laughs> my imagine my kids though. My, my my kids are prepping me when I come to their graduation, right? They they prep me. My son prep me. My daughter prep me, and they say they tell me, "Don't say nothing. Don't if you see, don't yeah, say." They're already being programmed, bro. Don't they're, say that. They're, they're literally programmed. telling me, like, "We know you, dad. We know you, dad. Don't say nothing. Don't." Say, and I'm like, "I ain't gonna say nothing." Like, y'all think I'm crazy? They're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm "Like, yo, listen." I'm not I wouldn't do that, but I see some stuff, man. I see some stuff, but I won't say nothing. And this is the world we're living in. Because I'll be I wouldn't say something because I do I could get arrested for saying something. Let's be honest. I can't really say well, you know, they started this shit with um even religious, bro. Religions, bro. Oh yeah. You can't you can't just go on the street no more. Like you can't just like normally you 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 have the people on the street, they be preaching their um beliefs. Like you can't preach your beliefs on people no more. You get a ticket for that. You get arrested for that. If you go to Manhattan and you know you have your Bible and you preaching, you preaching to to the people, a police can like arrest you for that. In England, they can arrest you for that. Like these are the yeah, new yeah. rules and laws they're putting in place, bro. So a lot of people have lose have have lost the the um you know the fundamentals of how the older generation. Let's put it like that what the older generations were um looking like preaching like a lot of people has have lost their 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 morals bro so there's really nothing about morals anymore bro it's just all, it's all about just like a free a free world like you can do what you want to do and yo you have to accept that like old, old heads you gotta accept it that this is a new world now everybody have a different um you know outlook on life if 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 they want to be categorized as a dog i am a dog you know what I'm saying? If I want to be a cat, I'm a cat. If I want to identify myself as a fucking bat, then you got to accept that. You know what I'm saying? And we look at that like, yo, bro, this, this world is crazy. Like, our parents are going to look at it like, yo, they're ready to go. I want to leave this world. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's crazy, bro. But what are we going to do? As you say. Crazy world. I, We're living in. Um, yeah, yeah. I know how insane that I saw one story. This guy, right? Guy, <laughs> he's pregnant, right? And he's freaking what? out. So the tell, yeah, he's pregnant, and he's freaking <laughs> out. So the doctor is like, "You're pregnant," and he's like, "No, I'm a man. I can't be pregnant." Doctor's like, listen, before you converted to a man, you were a woman. So you have the ability to be pregnant. No, I'm not. Yo, I'm like, you know, insanity. That is all I can say. You're a woman. So, it doesn't matter what you so, think. 
biology it doesn't change so this is a transgender you're talking about so so it's a transgender that was a a, a woman yeah. woman no yeah. identify as a man so this this person forgot that they have female organs yeah. Yo, no, nah, that, that's something different. Forgot it. They never thought they ever had it. Oh, so he was, he was, he was tricked. He trick himself. Okay. But what the really question? Why did he? Why did he? If he turned to a man, why did he went with a man? I, I, the, well, this, no, no, no. This, 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 this. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was a woman, and then it changed to a man. So, oh, yeah, to a man that, to be with a why man. Why would you go? And why would you turn to a man to be with a man and not with a woman? Oh shit! No, no. Because he yeah, wants to be a gay man. Oh, but he. <laughs> <laughs> you can't understand this shit, bro. Like that's all I'm telling you, man. Like sometimes we we really yo, know, that's really crazy. See, Ricardo, people, Ricardo in the chat, he saw it too. Ricardo, I'm just, it's. Listen, I literally checked out because I was like, yo, this is so insane. I'm like, you know what? I, I should have gotten a clip. I was just like, bro, like, I, you know, when you're over it, you're just like, literally like, are you serious? I, like, you really, you really, you, you really are giving my, yo, the person was freaking out. I'm like, I, I just exit because I'm like, nah, bro, this is nonsense. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're the a person woman. is really freaking out. Like, he, he, he was going, let's see, go on, go on. He was going hard, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, we live in a crazy world, crazy world. Um, let me see, what's the next topic? Because I really, 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 I really, really can't with these. Hey, off topic, off topic, right? I'm going to show y'all something real quick. Off topic, off topic. Don't tell me that's a man. Uh, that that's what that's that's what I'm gonna ask. No, 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 no. Not from oh. my knowledge, yeah. Not from my knowledge. I mean okay. shit, anything is possible these days. Uh, my reason for playing this clip is to ask you all this question, right? In this day and age, right? In this day and age, I'm a bit I don't I I find life weird. Um we're 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 being bombarded with overly sexualized women wearing practically nothing after goddamn time on social media all i see is booties ass cheeks titties i i i'm like i don't even know no more youtube the streets everywhere i go ass and titties ass and titties and every girl the gym the gym sweatpants thing is that make their but here's the thing if you look, that could be labeled as sexual harassment. But so it's okay for them to wear that in public. I am I'm confused. Even if you're not looking, they, they try to make you look, and if you try to glimpse they, they can say you're you're perv, you're stalking you're them. Perv. I see a lot of I don't know if you guys saw that these videos with the, 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 the ladies in the gym, they video the, the guys in the gym, and they're saying the guys are stalking them, looking at them, and they're videoing. Like it's a gym. It's a gym. Uh, guys are gonna walk around. They're gonna look. It's it's in the gym. If you're in the gym and you're doing what you're doing, people are gonna look. You're not supposed. But, apparently, you're not supposed to look. She's doing squats in in her gym pants, uh, doing her, her gluteus maximus stuff. And you're not supposed to look. You're not even supposed to glimpse that even for one second. If they catch you on the camera, like look at this creep. And you're like, yeah, you and they're pretty. Like, you look like this. You're looking like that, and I'm not supposed to look. I'm confused now. I'm confused. So what? Have freedom for you to dress how you want to dress. What about the freedom for me to look? I can't look. Well, they can wear like if you just wear a, a skirt or a frack or something to the gym, then an overall. Wear something to the gym no. that we're not gonna look. These women wearing clothes, it, and I'm saying these girls are pulling up. Holding up the the, 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 the the pants way all you see is, is, is the print, you know. What I'm saying you're seeing camel toe for days, yeah. yeah there's full, split. full split, advertising. full print out. They pull it all the way up, they got a wedgie, everything going on. Pum pum wedgie. So, my question is this 
We're not supposed to look. We are bio we are biologically pre-wired to look. Yeah. So no, we can't speak and we can't look. We can't speak and we can't look. Remember, remember, if you say so, if you say to a girl she looks sexy, that could be labeled as sexual harassment. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's illegal. So, that's... And, you, and if you look, that might be sexual. <laughs> it's, it's like, do we really have any rights anymore? Because I don't think we do. They, 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 the woman, they can look at the guys and it's all good. But if the guys look at the woman, they're gonna put you on the camera. They're gonna put your 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 face out there. They're gonna label label you as a creep. Yeah, it's it's scary. It's scary. As a man, we damn if we do, we damn if we don't. They, if you don't try to get with them, like approach women, women say, "Oh, you're not a real man." A real man approach, and if you approach, they could label you as a creep. Um, it's like <laughs> I think what is going on in the world when you look at it, it's like they're trying to make all the men's like kneel, bow, like they're trying to get us on our knees. I, I think so. I, I think it's, I think it is exactly what it is. We're being, um, I'm not saying women shouldn't have equal white rights or anything like that, but I feel like, all right, put it like this, right? I, I'm a black man in America, right? And I'm all for equality with white and black, right? But I see reverse racism every day. I see black people being racist to white people every day and it's normal. The things black people say about white people on national television, if a white man was to say it, like black people would say, oh, you know, you know, oh, these white people, you know, they're MAGA extremists, you know, uh, uh, you, you know, the, the, the degenerates and, and these white people are this and these white people are that. And I'm like, could you imagine a white person on TV saying, these black people are extremists and these black people are this and these black people. Oh, you think that would play over? He would be canceled. <laughs> Is it? It's, 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 um, I'm, uh, it's insane. So I say that to say I see the same thing when it comes to men and women. And I see the same thing when it comes to um, straight, lesbian, bi, etc. Um, and vice versa with straight people. I realize that over what has happened is the oppressed has become the oppressors. The yes. oppressed has become the oppressors. So females were oppressed. They are now oppressing men. And gays and lesbians, and you know, they were oppressed. No, they're oppressing. Black people were oppressed. No, they're they're oppressing. It's it's a situation where the the, the power shift, the power dynamic, it it it, it the the rebalancing is taking it way overboard it's no longer going for equal it's just like boom overcorrection and i see it every day and the overcorrection is forced by the fact that there is racism in this country and you will never ever stem out racism fully so because there is a percentage of racism it forces the overcorrection for example there are always going to be men who are creeps there are always going to be men who is going to commit sexual assault so the overcorrection will stand. There is always going to be straight people who's going to say, ew to gay people, we don't like you, whatever, whatever. So there's always going to be the need for overcorrection. You see how it, how it plays out, bro? Yeah, I see it. I see, I see it. So it's like, it, it's like, it's changing, it's changing now. Like every, all the roles are being switched. Like who was, they thought, okay, now we're getting power. So we're good. We're going to just go all out we're not gonna be easy it's like it's revenge you're taking revenge and so it, it, it's <laughs> they want it all. <laughs> yeah they want it all and, and, that, and that is a problem if they try to take it all it's gonna mess up because now they're you know they're in what they need to do is trying to balance the scale that's all they need to do try to balance the scale now and say listen they did this they were all going out for us so why we should not try to do that no let's balance the, the scale so anything happens we don't end up doing the same they do all right so um gary elite says that black people don't get any rights to oppress um white people and um you have to pay attention to certain things that happen right as i said one way of oppression, and I clearly stated the, uh, the oppressed, 
black people are allowed to say whatever the fuck they want to say about white people openly on any platform. But white people aren't allowed to say anything negative about black people. Just as it is okay for females to say anything about males, but males aren't allowed to say anything negative about females on any platform. Just like gay people are allowed to say anything about straight people on any platform, but straight people aren't allowed to criticize gay people in any way, shape, or form on any platform. That's what we're talking about, the overcorrectiveness. So when, 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 when a, 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 a black person say white people are this or white people are that, just know that white people can't say black people are this or black people are that. That's what we're talking about. So we're not talking about comedy. We're talking about media. We're talking about um, entertainment. We're talking about people. There's no platform. There's no platform. The only comedians are the only one who get away with jokes, white or black. It doesn't matter. Because obviously a Chappelle is going to say whatever. Cat Williams is going to say whatever. White comedians. People going to, it's comedy. That's the only time. But still, people are outraged and people come after them. Like Chappelle with, 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 with the Netflix. People come after him all the time. But that's comedy. We're not talking about comedy. We're talking about in general. Like if you follow MSNBC or uh, any one of these um, um, TV stations, black media, they're able to say anything negative about, say, Trump. Trump is a this, Trump is a that, he's a this, he's that. They're, Trump is a, is a white man. He, he, whether you're white liberal or black liberal, you're able to say any. You can call him a Nazi. You can say anything about him and it's a go. But I'm letting you know, they had called, um, what's her name? One of them um, ladies in, in, in New York. Someone referred to her in that way, and it was a big deal. Black woman. So I'm just, I'm just explaining to y'all that you have to understand it's the overcorrection of certain things. Now, in terms of um, oppressing white people, well, listen, black people are reaching a point now where, where they're pushing for segregation, if you don't know, or maybe you don't really check certain things out. Black people are literally kicking, even on campuses across America, black people refuse to mingle with white people. Pushing for segregation, Jim Crow type shit. I'm talking about the fact that white people can't do that. So you can have an all-black campus, but you can't have an all-white if you understand what I'm saying, the, the, the things that black people can say or the things black people can do, just know white people cannot. Like you can say the other day, um, oh man, see, I got to remember the name. The lady, the Asian lady, um, the mayor, she kept a all black, a all black or all minority Christmas party, excluding the whites. Just imagine. If a white mayor kept an all-white Christmas party and excluded minorities. You know, I'm just explaining to y'all how it works. So, no, Fox, Fox is not, Fox doesn't say any and anything because Fox is a, 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 um, Fox is split down the middle for the most part. Fox is a, a more balanced there was a time when Fox wasn't balanced, but that day and age, they fired Tucker Carlson just for an example of the fact that Tucker Carlson was too much to the right, even though Tucker was. But anyhow, so I'm just giving an idea like the ball that that those days are gone. Those days are gone. You you cannot actually say um certain things, but anyhow, moving along, moving along. You're back, Nick. Hmm. Man, I went on a coffee break, people. <laughs>